guys, it's Kat um, and Eli's joining us again today. Um, so this week's topic is about potty training. Now we haven't potty trained yet, um, but I do have a few plans on what I'm going to do. Um, and sorry if you hear some like noises in the background. Isaac's just playing with his um, Mr. Potato Head box with his ridiculous amount of Mr. Potato Head. Anyway, so um, I had originally planned on starting potty training by now, but my instincts are telling me that Isaac's not really ready yet. Um, he does have like a little um, potty that we just kind of keep in the lounge room just for him to get used to sitting on it and like just one of those portable ones. Um, and if you ask him where he's supposed to poo, he knows he'll say potty um, or toilet. Um, I do want to wait until his communication skills are a little bit better. He still can't vocalize that he needs to poo, like he doesn't know what that sensation is um, and he doesn't necessarily know when he's going to wee either. So. I guess um, I'm going to wait until his, co I mean his communication skills are pretty good at the moment but they're just, just not quite there yet. Um, so I'm going to wait until that. But my plan for potty training um, will be hopefully um, when my husband finally has a weekend off, he's been working crazy hours at the moment. Um, probably for the last like two months so I kind of want to wait until he has a full weekend off we unfortunately have carpet in our lounge room so I want to kind of do it over a weekend um, I have watched quite a few videos on YouTube of a few different techniques um, the one that I really liked most was um, by Alha I think that's how you say her name I'll link the video down below because it's actually quite helpful um, obviously she has a girl so it's a little bit different um, but pretty much it consists of taking away nappies apart from night times um, and you know you start the day by you know talking to her talking to your child about um, how big boys big girls wear underwear and you don't need nappies anymore and then um, you use a doll as a prop and um, give the doll a drink and sit on the potty and it does a wee and you know all that kind of stuff so it's kind of a whole day process so that's kind of what I was planning on doing um, just using one of Isaac's teddies and sitting it on the potty and explaining to him you know that you do wees on the potty you do poos on the potty and um, pretty much just spending the whole day or well, a whole couple of days just doing that um, back and forth we have like a tiled kitchen so what I was planning on doing is setting up like a few activities so that we could spend the day there um, and do it on a weekend when my husband's home so that he can um, take care of Eli so I can just concentrate that whole weekend on potty training. So um, yeah, I guess that's my plans. I have no expectations over whether that's going to work or not. Um, I really don't know how he will take to it anything like that but so far um, that's our plan that's my plan um, I'm not too sure whether I'll do kind of a reward system or not or just kind of you know celebrate the fact that he's done a wee or a pill on the potty um, I think I'll just see what he he's like at that time you know he's changing so quickly at the moment and um, yeah I just we'll just see what he wants you know whether he gets excited over being able to watch a movie or whether you know we have to kind of do a reward system where at the end you know he might get a new toy or something so yeah I'm not too sure how that will exactly <laughs> no baby how that will exactly plan pan out but um yeah that's my plans so far for potty training I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone else's strategies and plans for potty training, um, I am really looking forward to Isaac being out of nappies. I'm just kind of, especially having this one in nappies, it will just be good to have him doing it in the toilet. <laughs> 
So anyway, I hope everyone's having a wonderful week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.